Uh, you've seen him on America Outdoors with their Team Day Thurston. That's right. The host himself will be joining us right here on Sidewalks Entertainment. Baratune Day Thurston, he's super fun, so you do not want to miss out. So sit down, sit tight, sit down, sit tight, <laughs> relax. Joining us to talk about the PBS series, America Outdoors with Baratune Day Thurston. I'd like to welcome the host himself and returning guest, Baratune Day Thurston to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hey Baratune Day, thank you so much for joining us. Hello Lori and good day yay area, good to be back. So it's been about a year since the last time we had you on our show. It's well, our anniversary. Yeah. yeah. So. Welcome back. And I mean, how have you been? What have you been up to? Oh, you know, just running around this vast expanse of a nation, uh, jumping off cliffs, kayaking <laughs> down rivers, climbing rocks that didn't need to be climbed, but were fun to do it, mountain biking, and, uh, and hearing beautiful stories of people who are healing themselves and helping heal our relationship with this planet through their connection to the outdoors. That's all. Just a, Just that. Plus, a <laughs> just lot of email, lot of email in the last year. Yeah. So you're a New York Times best-selling author for your book, How to Be Black. You're also the creator and host for your award-winning podcast, How to Citizen with Bear Tunde. And you're the host of the PBS series, America Outdoors with Bear Tunde Thurston. So professionally, what's something you haven't done yet that you would really like to do? Oh, 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 I'd love to dance live at a Beyonce concert. That's on that. That's one of them life lists. Uh, so I'd love to do that. And I would love to get my inbox down to zero. Uh, that would be really a professional <laughs> achievement. It's been like 15 years since I've had zero messages in my inbox. So you got you got a high bar of like dance with Beyonce and, and a different kind of high bar with clear the inbox. Those are two professional goals I have. Wouldn't that be amazing if someone did hear you say that and then you did end up emptying your mailbox? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, <laughs> did you have to... <laughs> no, you got jokes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Beyonce, yes. Beyonce, if you did end up on stage with Beyonce, I know I had you there, right? No, yeah. but seriously, wouldn't that be amazing if you did get a chance to dance live with Beyonce on stage? I mean, you would have to totally document that, record it, yes. post it everywhere, pin it on your <laughs> Instagram wall. Yeah, Forever. and then maybe maybe it's later on you get a chance to MVP yeah. <laughs> So outside of work, when you're not on the camera and whatnot, what do you like to do for fun? Ooh, naps are nice. Um, I really like uh, cooking with my wife. She's like the main chef and I'm a really good sous chef. I'm on the, I handle the grill and the cocktails. I love mixing drinks, all kinds of drinks. I love the chemistry nice. of it. Um, I love the creativity of it. I love the different flavors and emphasis on it. And yeah, just like kicking it with friends, uh, talking a lot of BS with people who know you best is, uh, is a good way to pass the time. Uh, and when I'm not with a film crew, I like hanging out outside. I like going on hikes and walks and laying by the beach. I'm a simple guy, Lori. This is uh, the, some of the basic things really, really do it for me. Oh, wow. So on America Outdoors, you're pretty much doing what you love because, I mean, that's something that you love to do on your off time as well. It is. It comes with a bit more stress when there's a crew following you and they say, OK, now do it again. Now, <laughs> now do it again. Oh, cool. You, you, climbed, you climbed that rock face. Now do it again. And you're just like, this is not natural. Oh my <laughs> gosh. So there's, there's a little wow. more professional obligation to it, but it's also a great way to, to sample things I never would have tried. Uh, so it, it cuts both ways, mostly positive. Wow. So in you saying that, it makes me like, see everything that we've seen in America Outdoors completely different now. Cause now I'm thinking she did that more than once. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's TV. That's TV. That's. I'm not trying to compare myself to Tom Cruise. I'm just saying I understand a, a tiny yeah. smidgen when he does those stunts, and you're just like, oh wow, I can't believe he rode a motorcycle off a cliff, and then you realize he did that eight times. 
So anything, oh my you, God. anything you see me do on this show, I probably did it at least three times. Is We don't have Tom Cruise budgets over at, at public television, but uh, we got to get the angle from the drone. Sometimes I have things strapped to my body. Uh, we get the, the angle from the wide shot, wide lens, wow. like close up of my hands or my face or something like that. So that's just, you know, our, our director of photography, Bo, he, I love him. And he's, his favorite phrase to me is, that's perfect. Do it again. <laughs> you know, oh, my God. Like, I love to butcher his accent. He will appreciate that. Love you, Bo. Wow. Well, I mean, with that being said, um, with all the things that you've, of the places you've been visiting and all the things that you've been doing across the country, what, what was the most memorable experience or maybe even the most challenging activity that you've done in filming America Outdoors? I mean, yeah. have you, yeah. have you had to face some of your fears? I, I have, I have. I mean, I think at the, at the significant, but lighter end uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of flying without an aircraft. Um, I just, I respect the airline industry. Uh, I love aerodynamics and airplane manufacturers. I just have my my utmost appreciation. And so if you're going to kind of launch your body, for example, off a perfectly good cliff, you better have like a good reason to do something like that and good protection and a harness. <laughs> I did some paragliding in Utah that, was a bit challenging to my evolutionary orientation to, to kind of stay grounded. And then the other uh, is related to height. Um, in Oregon, in our Oregon episode, we climbed this 80-foot tree uh, with, the, with this arborist there, and he is a healer of trees. He also does this activity called forest bathing, and there's a lot of health benefits to just moving slowly through the forest. Literally, the trees emit uh, chemicals that help our immune systems but before we got to that, we climbed this tree. And I didn't, when I, when I was a kid, I didn't climb trees. I wasn't one of those kids who was always scrambling up trees. I'm like, I can appreciate the tree from down here. Look <laughs> at you, you go tree, you do you. And I'm gonna be this earthling down here appreciating your height. And so to climb a tree of that height is nothing like what childhood tree climbing is. You're just on a rope and you're really climbing a rope that's like adjacent to the tree. And so 10 feet up, Okay, fine. 20 feet up. Oh, we got 40 feet up. There's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things happening in my body. There's a lot of tightness. There's some pains. There's a lot more happening in my mind. A lot of resistance, a lot of fear, a lot of hesitation. And so that moment is, is one that, that people are really going to, I think, have a strong response to my strong response to, to feeling what my physical and psychological limits are. And so I reached that unexpectedly. That was not a planned moment on the show, but that was for sure the, the hardest thing uh, that I experienced on this season. Wow. Well, needless to say, we have a lot to look forward to in America Outdoors of Barracuda Thurston. Uh, sadly, we are out of time, but I had such a great time speaking with you today. Thank you so much, Barracuda. So do I, Laura. You have a good rest of your day, and thanks for talking to me. Everyone, be sure to watch more of Baratune Day Thurston in America Outdoors with Baratune Day Thurston on PBS. You take care. You too. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.